everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you my 32 and 33 week bump update. If you don't know from previous videos or if you didn't get it from the title above, I am in my third trimester of my pregnancy and it is my first pregnancy. I am 33 weeks pregnant and a mere like six weeks and like a few days away from giving birth. I thought that I would bring you my bump update. As I have said in previous bump updates, if you haven't watched them, I tend to do them every week because during my third trimester, my symptoms have been changing on pretty much a daily basis and a weekly basis and a lot has been happening but I have had to group 32 and 33 together just because I really didn't have the time to film a bump update for you so I'm really sorry about that but if it comes to any consolation nothing has happened in the 33 week space everything seemed to happen in the 32 week space it's kind of like my body like threw loads of symptoms and loads of things at me during the 32 week space and then as soon as i hit 33 weeks they were like we'll give her a week off we'll we'll let her calm down a bit so this is everything that i've been experiencing in the 32 weeks and 33 weeks of my pregnancy the first big thing was pretty much at the very beginning of the 32 week mark i did have to go into hospital i did talk about this in a vlog that i did because i was vlogging around the time and then i had to go into hospital uh, and i will link that in the description box below everything is fine i'm fine baby's fine my partner harry is fine but basically during the third trimester you have to keep an eye on like everything and if like the slightest thing happens they say to go to hospital or to go to a gp or call your midwife and just check everything's okay because a lot of things happen like clockwork and obviously I'm like really near to the point where I'm going to give birth so they do say keep an eye on everything. The reason why I had to go into hospital was because on that day, it was a Monday, I wasn't feeling too well. I had stomach pains but it was kind of like you know when you just say like you've had something for dinner like greasy for dinner the night before and your stomach doesn't feel all that fresh and I felt a little bit sick and all morning I had been filming videos, I'd been like editing, I'd been rushing around the house trying to clean everything because the house had just got a complete mess over the weekend and I think just because I was kind of like doing so much in the space of one morning and then I didn't sit down from like when I woke up at like eight in the morning till like four in the afternoon and I kind of just sat down and my body was just like ugh and I just felt really nauseous, I felt really dizzy and then because I've been busy all morning I hadn't really felt the baby moving a lot. When I tend to do a lot of things during the day the baby doesn't tend to move and I don't tend to notice it because kicks and movement are just like standard in my life right now so I didn't really notice anything out of the ordinary then when I sat down to relax that is normally when baby decides to kick up a fuss and starts moving loads and I just didn't feel anything so I decided I feel a bit ill I'm gonna go in the bath the bath is somewhere that the baby will always without fail move the baby I don't know what it is but my baby seems to love being in the bath so every time I'm in the bath I will look down and the baby is just going absolutely mental so I thought if I get in the bath it'll make me feel a little bit better it might soothe my stomach and I will be able to feel baby moving and it'll put my mind at rest baby was not moving at all and that really really scared me and this was like edging on I'd say about like six five six o'clock and baby always always moves at that time so it was just really really strange for me so I called my midwife and unfortunately because I don't know what was happening that time of the day I could only get through to her voicemail and then and by this time Harry had come back from work so he told me to call 111. We called 111 and they were absolutely amazing. They booked me an appointment at my women's hospital which luckily is only five minutes away and where I will be giving birth and we were seen pretty much straight away. We were within five minutes of being there we were seen. I was hooked up to a monitor where they monitored baby's heartbeat, they monitored my stomach for any contractions and they had a little button so anytime baby moved I would click it. This was about 7, 8 o'clock 
and this is the time of day. I know I've said that baby always moves at like four and six and that, but at about seven, eight o'clock at night, I will normally be like lying down on the sofa, relaxing with Harry and just watching TV and the baby, like at that time of day, just goes like completely mental and he's moving loads. That is the one time of day I can always count on baby to be moving and I was lying down on this hospital bed and in the space of the half an hour that I was being monitored, I felt five kicks, which the midwife said was fine. They said the heartbeat was fine, but for me that just didn't sit right because normally I would get like hundreds of kicks and movements during that time and I only got five kicks and they were, I think, me just being like really picky. So like if I felt the slightest movement in my stomach, I would click the button. So it could have just not even been the baby. So to put my mind at ease, they really were really nice and said that I could come back in the morning and go for a scan. And I did and everything was fine. Baby was absolutely fine. So me and Harry went home and everything was fine. Like the minute I got home from the hospital, the baby was moving loads and everything just felt normal. And I was like, you are moving now. Like <laughs> after the biggest scare of my life, you've gone back to normal now. Like you couldn't have just done this yesterday and just saved us all this hassle. One thing that I realized when editing my bump updates is that I never speak about the fact that I have acid reflux and it is like the biggest thing during the third trimester. It is something that I have suffered with pretty much all of the third trimester and I never speak about it in bump updates. And then I go to edit it and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't mention the fact that I have acid reflux. So that is one of the biggest things that I've been having during this pregnancy. It tends to happen in the afternoon and night time and I will either take a Rene or I'll take a Gaviscon and everything is completely fine. But I have been getting quite bad like acid reflux and that is one of the things that has kind of like made me eat like a lot less and smaller portions but like scattered throughout the day because if I eat a big meal at night home like Harry will eat a big meal at night because he's hungry from work and I'll probably have like half of what he has so that it's going down easier and stuff like that. The other symptom that I've been getting is absolute and utter complete exhaustion. I have been so so tired constantly and I don't know whether this is because I have been like getting up in the mornings early and doing a lot during the day I have been like cleaning the house I've been filming I've been editing I've been like going on photography shoots and stuff like that and I think just because I've kind of been keeping to my normal everyday life that I have been like wearing myself out because you're supposed to be at this point doing like half of what you're normally doing and obviously I've been doing the exact same so I get really tired all the time and this is making me really moody and really hormonal like I will lash out at the smallest of things like it was snowing the other day and I cried for about an hour or like two hours because I was just so upset <laughs> that it was snowing. The next thing that I want to talk about is the fact that we have started doing the nursery. We have all the furniture now and it is put up. We have painted the nursery and we're just like getting in the process of like putting up like shelves and cute little like night lights and stuff like that which was one thing that I was getting really stressed out about the fact that even though the baby won't be using the nursery for the first six to eight months of its life I really wanted the nursery to be done when the baby arrived so that I knew everything was ready for when baby like comes into our world. We also have the baby shower coming up this weekend. If you have watched any of my bump up dates before you have known that I haven't really had any cravings and I haven't really had any food aversions. My body has decided that it really loves ice cream. Like it's not I want ice cream all the time, I'm craving it all the time. It's not that I'm waking up at three o'clock in the morning and wanting ice cream, but I have really just been like enjoying having ice cream. I've been having ice cream a lot more than normal and it's just something that I've kind of been really into at the moment and I will probably have like a bowl of ice cream like every like two days or something which is like completely not normal for me, but I have absolutely been loving ice cream lately so, <laughs> Yay, 33 weeks and I got my first official craving. The <laughs> symptoms that I have talked about before is the fact that I have started to get Braxton Hicks. These, I haven't had any of these during the 33 week mark. 
fingers crossed, this is my last day for 33 weeks. But I have been getting them during the 32 weeks. Uh, they were only like really slight and they were like, I'd say like twice a day, but they are still definitely hanging around and still getting their practice in for labor. And I have been continuing to get lightning crutch. I've been getting this ever since I think about like 28 weeks, so the beginning of the third trimester. I want to put it out there, it isn't actually called lightning crutch, it's just something that I have been calling it because there is actually no official name for it because I spoke to my midwives and I explained the symptoms to them and they were like, yeah, it's not called lightning crotch. They were like, it's just the baby doing this, blah, blah, blah. So for me, it's just easier to say lightning crotch because it's like actually giving it a name. And it's basically a lightning, like feeling like a shock going up your area. Um, they've been like lasting a lot longer than normal. So before it'd be like, and I'd be like, oh, Oh, well, ow, or like, oh, crap. But now it's like one of those things where I'm kind of stood there and I'm like trying to breathe through it for ages, for like a couple of minutes. And that is something that has been happening. But that is really all that's been happening during the 32 week and 33 week mark. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos and all my social media links are in the description box below if you want to keep up to date with my pregnancy or just my day to day life, anything. I hope to see you very very soon in my next video. Love you all. Bye.